Hi, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling. In today's episode, we're diving into a special topic: installing high-definition IP cameras at a shooting range. Whether you're a range owner or a tech aficionado, you'll find this guy invaluable. Now, before we get started, I've got an exciting offer for all of our viewers. If you are planning to integrate technology into your environment, be it a home, office, or a specialized setting like a shooting range, we're here to help with a free tag design consultation, and our team of experts will work with you to create a customized tag setup that meets your unique needs. Whether you need a robust Bus security system, a smart home integration, or an efficient networking solution, we've got you covered. So shooting rangers have unique needs when it comes to security and monitoring. The primary reason for installing IP cameras and a shooting range is to enhance security, monitor ongoing activities, and most importantly, allow shooters to remotely access video footage of their target. And this not only improves the user experience by providing live feedback, but also ensures safety and compliance with the range rules. And before we dive into the specifics of the IP cameras, so let's briefly overview the different types of camera out there. Now we have analog camera, which are the traditional type, digital cameras, and then we have the IP cameras, which are what we recommend for a shooting range because of their advanced features. IP cameras or Internet Protocol cameras offer many advantages over the traditional system. They provide higher resolution images, remote access capability, and better scalability. For shooting range, key features include high resolution imaging for target visuals, and robust design for outdoor environment and long range connectivity option. And one important feature to consider when installing your IP camera is the pixel density, which affect image clarity. Pixel density refers to the concentration of pixels on the display or within the camera's sensor area. Measure in pixel per inch, and higher pixel density means better image clarity, which is crucial for seeing the fine details of distant targets. So for a shooting range, we recommend a 6 to 22 millimeters lens bullet camera. And why? These cameras are not only weatherproof but also come with rugged design perfect for outdoor use. And they can handle the environmental challenges of a shooting range while providing excellent zoom capability. And placement is key. The right placement ensures that all areas are monitored effectively without any blind spot. For shooting range, cameras should be placed to cover each lane and focusing on the target. So placement also must consider the long distance between the target and the monitoring site. So to address this long distance challenge, we decide to use the long range PoE switch. Now let's follow the Ethernet cable and go to our monitoring site. This technology allows us to extend the distance up to 300 meters, way beyond the standard limitation. And the best part is, no extra power supply is needed for each camera, as power is delivered directly through the Ethernet cable to the PoE pass-through switch. And our long-range PoE switch utilizes four twisted pairs of the wire in the Ethernet cable, ensuring efficient and power data transmission without any loss over the long distance. This setup not only simplifies the installation, but also reduces maintenance costs. So now, let's look at the setup in real life. 
So now as you can see, our long-range PoE switch is connected to the router and the NVR as well. So you can get internet assets and also display the video footage on the monitor. And keep in mind, port 1 and 2 are the long-range PoE port. So I already plug in the 300 meters ethernet cable to port number 1. This is a big wall of 300 meters. So let's follow the ethernet cable and go all the way to our our target sites. Now here we have the 300 meters ethernet cable connected to our PoE adapter. Now we'll need this adapter to send back the long range signal to the long range PoE switch. And for each long range PoE switch, it comes with two PoE adapter. So it is already going through in here and this is PoE output port. We are going to connect it to our PoE pass-through switch. Now this pass-through switch has an IP67 waterproof casing and also has a heat dissipation hole so there's nothing can get in, only the heat can get out. And keep in mind port number 8 here is the PoE input port. So now I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable here from the PoE adapter here we have the gland and this is a rubber so we don't need to worry about the water gets in and twist it when you do the installation you can also use a wrench to fasten it up let's plug it into the port number eight and instantly we can see the indicated light is on so now the PoE pass-through switch is getting the power and the data that it needs and it's going to supply for three of our bullet camera through this single ethernet cable so looking at here it is connected to the first one the second one and the third one here and we can see the indicated light is on and there's nothing else needed. There's no extra power supply, only the ethernet cable. So it is time to go back to our monitoring site and we are going to display the video footage. So after we hit the search button, we have three cameras. So let's hit the add button to simply add them to our channel. They are already connected, now exit it. Now we can see three targets and this one would be perfect because we have the clear sights and also from ring one to 10, we can see it very clear. But this one here is very blurry. That's why we have to adjust the focal length using our adjustable bullet camera. So we are going to come over here to our bullet camera. This is a manually adjustable lens so we can adjust it through the control down here in the bullet camera under it. So when you adjust the bullet camera, it's best to use your mobile device so you can look at the view. So this is our dedicated green backyard application. Let's open it up. Let me refresh it. So here we have the bullet camera already added. Now this is a live video feed. I'm going to wave my hand. So you can see this is a live video. And I'm going to adjust the focus by twisting it underneath. And now let's adjust the focus. You'll need a little bit of time. And make sure you do it slowly, otherwise it won't be clear. So here we go. Now we are looking at a very clear target. And we can also go back and look at our big screen monitor. 
So for the last camera, you will just have to do the same and adjust the focal length and to focus it. Now as you can see, with the right equipment and setup, enhancing the monitoring and security of a shooting range can be both straightforward and efficient. And if you're considering an upgrade or installation of new IP cameras at your range, you can consider these tips and recommended technology. So thanks very much for watching. And for more tech tips and guides, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.